Haley out in here joined by UConn head coach Kevin Ollie. Coach, congratulations on this big win today. It seemed like about 10 minutes in your offense really got rolling. Once you settled in, what changed? Uh, my defense. Uh, they was probably scoring at will. Um, Rob Gray got off to a great start, um, hitting pretty much everything he threw up. So our defense really stepped up. Then we was able to be efficient on the offensive end. I thought our ball movement was great. Thought once again we got to the free throw line and we rebounded the ball very, very well. So I was proud of the guys' effort. 14 points from your bench tonight, yeah. third game coming up in three days. How important is your bench going to be tomorrow? Yeah, our, our bench is important. We don't have uh, too many guys over there, but, you know, the, the two we got, the two we played this uh, today was, was huge, and Vance was huge. I think Vance scored 12 out of 14. So, you know, having him come in and give us the extra boost, um, I've never seen him dunk like that. So I didn't even know he had that in his game, but he surprised me with that. I think that really got the crowd going. You met Cincinnati in the last game of the regular season, but it's tough to beat a team three times in one year. What can you take away from your experiences again against them this season? Um, you know, I just thought they just, you know, they beat us on the boards, um, and that was pretty much the game. So we got to rebound. We got to be just as tough as them. Um, we got to go looking for the looking for the fight instead of them being the bullies on the block. So uh, we're going to go looking for the fight. We're going to go in every alley and look for them. And uh, we're going to resist their, their punch, and we're going to keep uh, throwing haymakers ourselves. Your team's headed to its fourth straight semifinal in American yep. tournament history. Uh, have you met Cincinnati? each year. <laughs> you guys seem to keep meeting along the way, but you've been taking care of business now day by day. You have the crowd here behind you. How do you feel heading into tomorrow? Um, I feel good. Like I said, Haley, it's uh, one game at a time. Uh, we got to go out and perform. And like I say, execution is worship. And you got to execute in the postseason. It's no more excuses. Uh, so hopefully we can execute our game plan. Um, it'll be all night for me. I'm not going to get too much sleep and just trying to come up with a game plan. I think our guys can um, execute so we can continue to have this great cloud, crowd here in Hartford. <laughs> all right. Thanks a lot, okay. Coach. We'll see you Thank tomorrow. You. All right. I'm joined by UConn sophomore Jalen Adams. Jalen, congratulations on this win. 23 points. You played every single minute in this game. Can you describe the feeling after winning a game like that? Uh, it's, a, it's a great feeling, especially uh, for me, uh, playing every minute, being out there, just giving them my all and, and getting the results that we wanted. Um, it's a great feeling, especially because we lost two games to them in the regular season and we finally got that payback when it counted. In the conference tournament, um, you guys had quite the experience last year, a lot of emotions in that one as well. So you have the experience from last year, but for you in particular, probably the most memorable shot of your entire career came against Cincinnati. Matching up with them against again tomorrow, you face them in the last game of the regular season. What do you need to do differently this time around? Are you excited again for this matchup? Um, I'm definitely excited for this matchup. Uh, they're a great team, and we feel as though we can match up with them and, and get the W. But um, I think differently, we just got to be tough. That's all it comes down to. They out-toughed us at our gym. They out-toughed us at their gym. So it just comes down to toughness. What is that feeling like, especially playing here so close to home in Hartford, when you guys make those clutch shots, when you have a great team performance and you hear the crowd? Uh, it, it's great. It gives you that extra adrenaline. When you're tired, you don't really think about it because the crowd just keeps egging you on. You hear the guys on, on the court side boosting you up, talking trash to the other team. So it's a great feeling. It's, it's a home environment. This has been kind of an up and down season, but your team that you have had here these past couple of days, does this feel like a little bit of a different team here in the postseason? Uh, yes, definitely. Uh, our team probably in the start of the year, we probably would have gave in uh, to a little adversity, but I think we're just maturing a lot and we're not folding. Uh, we're not giving up. We feel as though we can compete with any team in the country. So we're just kind of putting it all out there and getting the results that we want. All right. Well, best of luck tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.